Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode 5 of Defective Decadence. Let's go. I'm 11 years old. We can still much do good. This this guy is really paying off. He's collected like three tithes in the last year. It's impressive. We are rapidly growing up as a young boy. Thank goodness strong is something that can't really be taken away from me. I'm a strong boy, yet I'm afraid of people. I'm craven. I'm a coward. Courage the cowardly dog. Let us hope so. Not much we can do. My brother's gonna cause so much problem. So many problems. Nizam and Turd. Oh gosh. Uh, she is so funny and above all so beautiful. I think I'm falling in love with her. Okay. This is my 17 year old courtier. Um, I'm 13, so I've got this thing for her. I'm deceitful. I'm, I'm, yeah, I've got nothing that's, I'll try and talk to her. We talked for hours and soon became inseparable. If there was a chore, a homework, or anything we could do together, we did it. If it weren't for the, if it weren't for my nanny, then we would have slept in the, in the same bed, too. Is this how it is when you are in love? Okay, so I think I found my wife. My liege, my mission to Arakena has so far been a success. Yeah, I think it's about time we move him. Let's move both these guys, actually. We'll go by opinion. The Sheik of Seville's modifiers have dropped off, so we need to, to work on him again. And this Wali. Oh, I guess we'll keep him there. I'm going to be the bestest Emir ever when I grow up. I deserve good things, and I will work to get them. I've gained the ambitious trait. Uh-oh. See, to me, when I get the ambitious trait, that's like a no-holds-bar permission slip to just destroy the game and take over the entire world. And you know I can do it. You've seen it. So, watch out. We are ambitious. I'm 13. Oh, he's ruined my levy reinforcement. So I'm 13 and uh, ambitious. Well, no one ever said a 13 year old can't declare war. Die. I deserve all the land. It's mine. You can't have it. I'm proud and I want it. Alright, fine. You want to uh, you want to play the siege game? We can do that. Split these armies in half, roughly. We'll keep more of it on the right. A little bit over here. You siege one of my territories, I'll siege two of yours. Oh, you want to come fight me over there, huh? Well, fine, we'll just switch it up. Oh, okay, you want to fight? Fight, huh? I want to cross the river? You're stupid. I'll kill you. We win. And uh, we'll leave. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll just do that. Nope, 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 nope. That's not enough. We're getting pretty good war score for for beating up his army, but I don't really want to fight anymore. There's no... not a huge value to it. I've become diligent. Alamanza has been called into the war. He's called in a few of his allies, the little brat. You're gonna cross the river to come fight me. My... my... Uh, argh, my guardian may be slothful. Damn it. Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay. Keep crossing rivers into my territory. Captured some guy. We have plenty of money for mercenaries, but we're too proud for that. Just gonna hang out on his land. Don't have enough men to siege that, so we'll just go over here. 1,600 men still. We could release and re-raise and get 300 more. My courtier here, Fatal, claims that he would be a better spymaster than my mayor. He's right, but he is a heretic. So... I rule. Go away. Okay, ah, a woman. Okay. Off to the dungeons. Another one. Dungeons. Alright, let's go beat his army up again. And that'll do the war. Alright. What a good old fashioned conquest. 
And I would say that my regent deserves that territory. Well, no, my regent's a Wally. Never mind, we can't give him land. Um, I'm not, I don't know, I'm pr I'm, I'm proud, not stupid. I mean, being this much over my domain limit doesn't make sense. So, even though they're not causing decadence yet, let's grant my brother that land. We lose a little bit of decadence, and uh, we lose control of him. He's still going to hate me, but a little bit less because I granted him some land. And uh, we can't attack him again. We could attack my liege, that'd be dumb. We could attack this guy. This is... Amir Zaid. There he is. He's got 760 men. I have more than that. We're gonna take some of your stuff. So I need some land for my brother. My other younger brother. He needs an inheritance, dang it. <laughs> my guardian's been stealing more money from me. Even though I've been giving him extra handouts. Alright, so we are now at war with, uh, it looks like his war, one of his internal wars may have ended. He seems to have more troops now than he did before. We do have plenty of money for mercenaries, though. Need a new spy master. We'll go with the mayor. Not the, not the courtier that's a body, but the one that's got 18. And how about we have him scheme in the capital? I feel a little bit weak right now. I feel like maybe we need some mercenaries. My character's Craven, so he won't be leading any battles. He's going to come of age now. We have become a scholarly theologian. We definitely want to get married. I don't have a lover, but there is that woman that I really like, and she should be in my court. So let's sort by opinion. Is that her? Teenage infatuation. I must have her. Okay, I've got a wife. Next up, um, I'm a duke, so I need to have at least two more. I am proud. I think I should be marrying princesses, but I'm obsessed with my what, my uh, my teenage, my 13-year-old infatuation. Let's marry a Saeed or two. Princess of Andalusia sounds good. And how about we also marry another princess of Andalusia? Um, eh. I need to get married right now. Princess of Egypt. She's only a year away. Let's do that. Now, he's coming down here to siege my land. Um, oh, you know what? That's his whole army. Yeah, he's only got 500 total, so actually, let's do this. Let's break off about... 700. Fulfilled the ambition to get married. Okay, actually, let me think for a second. So, my character, terrible stats, but I'm strong. But I'm, a, I'm afraid of stuff. I am ambitious, though. So, I want to become... Oh, gosh. Uh, it'd be so much smarter to take something like stewardship or become marshal, or actually, no. Okay, first off, let's try to get let's try to improve Marshall. I'm strong. I'm ambitious. I'm, I know I'm gonna have to get. I have to overcome my fear if I'm going to overthrow my liege. Oh, we have allies. My brother-in-law. Yeah, we'll call him. We'll try. Of course, I will honor my obligation. This other guy said no. So now this guy is fighting against me and my ally, which uh, has accepted. Okay, I've already already gained some. All of a sudden, my levy is bigger. Oh, look at that! The army of El Rif. I don't understand. He just happens to be here. Well, that's good.
Give me your territory, jerk. I need land for my brother. He's gonna come of age soon and cause decadence. It's unacceptable. My ally provided me with 700 troops. Looks like La Mancha just got involved. La Mancha? No, it is La Mancha. I'm gonna marry the princess of Egypt. She is, uh... Spy mastery type, so that'll cause all kinds of problems. Now, even though I came of age, I'm still over my domain limit. I'm terrible with stewardship. And my heartthrob here is not that much better. But I refuse to give up land in my primary duchy. I'm too proud for that. My sweet Shiva is terrifying when she wants something. There's nothing she wouldn't do to make me bend to her will. Now she wants me to make one of her friends Grand Vizier. But Grand Vizier Abdul Jalel Jalid Jalalid is a very competent man. That was my former... I believe that was my former... Um, my guardian. Yeah, he was. Her friend. So she wants to make who? Jalil over my current guy. Neither of them are that great. But I love my wife! So you can do it. It's fine. Okay. We could change laws if we actually had some piety. Being at war with another Muslim is costing me a lot, but I need the land. It's important. Alright, so we're at 11% war score now. Apparently none of my battles seem to have mattered, even though we crushed his army a couple times. It's a single county conquest, so I really just need to sit on his territory to win. The years fly by. Go ahead and surrender, dude. You're not gonna win. Oh god, don't tell me we're losing this battle. We just lost that battle, how's that possible? That's so dumb. Fine, it's time to release and re-raise. And reconvene. Go! We already have our own son, and of course, we will name him Hassan. You surrender, huh? I knew you would, little oh, brat. Okay, important decisions are available. Go on a Hajj to Mecca. Convert to my liege's culture. My liege is no longer, no longer Bedouin. Hmm. I'm too proud. Nope, I refuse. But I will give land to my other brother. That was a conquest just for him. And now we'll go on our Hajj to Mecca. Because that's just something all Muslims should do. We should also hold Ramadan. Because we're not greedy. Let's do it. You have performed- you have given generously to the poor during Ramadan and performed many good deeds. The urge to help those in need comes naturally to you. I feel like a better person. I'm charitable. Now is the time for prayers and devoted reading of the Quran. After the sun is set, you could recite the Quran. Yes, let us. The Prophet, may Allah honor him and grant him peace, teaches the importance of charity and good deeds, especially during the holy month of Ramadan. There are many poor in al Gekeras. al -Gikiras? I I don't know. Who could be helped? Um, yes, of course, we're charitable. Ramadan is blessed is a blessed time for charity and kindness, and in that spirit you could release the prisoners. Okay. Our liege is uh, has heard of our plans to go to Mecca and sends us advice that the road is perilous with infidels and bandits. Well, I'm craven, so definitely bring guards. I'm now fully prepared. Onwards. I'm regent. Your ship spots the sails of a well-known Christian pirate. We have a faster ship and the chance to eliminate this threat to pilgrims forever. 
Oh gosh, I am I am I'm strong, but I'm not brave. I am I'm scared. Nope. The end of Ram so we're having Ramadan while we're on our pilgrimage, it's kind of funny. Yes, we'll have a feast. Some guy who refuses to attend. Both my brothers, the assholes, don't want to come. Great banquet has been ordered. It seems as if we have managed to get lost here in the desert. One of the humble servants seems as if he might know the way. Um, oh god, I'll lose health. But I'm proud. Well, pride, according to this, just says they tend to be ambitious and work hard toward increasing their prestige. It doesn't mean I'm bullheaded. Oh, jeez, I don't know. Hmm. Alright, I'm, I'm the Amir, damn it. Nope. To celebrate, perhaps you should present gifts to your beloved wives. Of course. Your fast and observance of the holy month of Ramadan has ended. As you stop for camp one evening, you notice that an old man in poor clothing... I'm generous, of course. Hey, the old man quotes the messenger of Allah. May Allah bless him and grant him peace. From Sunan Abu Dawood. The most evil traits in a man are, off, are severe stinginess and uninhibited cowardice. And I am no evil man, so therefore I'm no longer craven. Cool. As you arrive in Mecca? Yep. I'm definitely ambitious. And proud. I've gained one health. So even though I lost one health earlier, I've gained it back. Uh, as you travel back home from Mecca, you encounter a very poor village where even the richest seems to starve. Of course I must help them. I have returned to my court a changed man. Truly I have. I'm no longer craven. I'm truly humbled before Allah. Good. I'm still over my domain limit, but I am better now. So, I'm no longer craven. That means I'm going to start leading battles, despite being a, a scholarly theologian. I'm well-read, with a deep understanding of philosophy and theology. And I'm ambitious, so I need to attack everyone like you. Yep, that's mine. Mine. Mine, mine, mine. Must have it. And, uh, we'll just call our allies every time we can. Wow, I have a lot of allies. How do I have so many allies? Jeez. It's a lot. Okay. Alright, well, I'm going to take a break here, though. I will see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.